Welcome to this special episode of Frequency Matters, the RF Microwave Update series. I'm Pat Hindle, and today I'm talking with Kevin Lanau. He is owner of Vulcan Wireless. Welcome, Kevin. Hi, Patrick. Nice to meet you. So I'm not sure everyone's familiar with your company. So can you tell us how Vulcan Wireless got started in providing digital communication solutions for terrestrial and space applications? Sure. I initially founded Vulcan Engineering and focused on digital and RF design consulting. And then I transitioned from there to startups. And then from there, I started focusing on Vulcan Wireless. The purpose there was to onshore RF technology and technologies and foster training of our next generation engineers here in the US for DOD applications. Um, I was originally inspired by my father who was a ham operator and I studied electrical engineering in undergrad and did uh, study communications in my master's uh, program. Uh, in, in the early 2000s, the DOD was seeking leveraging commercial cellular uh, technologies for military applications. And, and I was inspired personally by uh, some chip solutions that were coming out supplemented with a, uh, an FPGA that would really form the basis for a software defined radio for uh, space and military applications. Uh, the software defined radio is particularly valuable for military and space waveforms because ASICs are generally not available for these type of waveforms like they are for cellular and ISM band products. So this was really, I felt was a, uh, a, a really wide open market at that time. Very interesting way to start. So uh, what type of capabilities do you have for designing hardware and what products do you offer? Yeah, so one of the main observations I made at the beginning was that there were RF design houses and there were digital houses. And what I didn't see at the time was uh, a company that brought everything under one roof to try and uh, solve the entire problem. So, you know, RF analog digital firmware software and algorithms all done under one roof to, to really focus on uh, building a compact uh, product. And uh, from that, I really focused on standards-based digital communications of both transponders and transceivers for the challenging space environment. And uh, so we currently provide TTNC transponders, uh, high-speed X-band transponders, as well as K-band along with uh, NSA approved encryption devices and some digital networking devices. The applications therefore are, for example, lunar landers, lunar orbiters, uh, essentially all orbital regimes, including low earth orbit vehicles. And so what differentiates Vulcan from other software defined radio manufacturers? Yeah, so since we've really focused on bringing the team together, what, what I really, uh, the team of all these skills together we really wanted to focus on building radios that were fully encompassing of all devices. So for example, the software defined radio is integrated with uh, solid state power amplifiers, filters, low noise amplifiers, you know, antenna switches, all these products built into one device. And that really the concept there is to follow, since it's all integrated, it would follow an automotive production paradigm where everything, you know, it's just a, a device that gets bolted onto the main uh, satellite vehicle. And uh, this, this helps us provide tightly coupled solutions. And uh, it helps us work in a collaborative manner, ensuring that uh, we're able to provide, you know, seamless turnkey products to our customers. Well, that's great that you provide a complete solution. I think it's much easier for customers to integrate that way. You know, with the rising demand across the space sector and the need to meet more aggressive schedules, how has Vulcan enhanced their production capabilities to manage larger and more complex orders while still meeting critical deadlines? Yeah. So again, uh, going back to that automotive paradigm, that's really the idea is to make the product very simple to integrate into the vehicle. So our, our approach closely aligns with the evolving demand from the US Space Force for resilient cost-effective suppliers that are capable of supporting increased production. 
Um, we have focused extensively on streamlining our manuf manufacturing process, especially our, you know, our um, precision and sensitive spacecraft radios, uh, recognizing the high, high tolerances and, and fine detail requirements for space applications. We basically deconstructed our production steps to incrementally uh, make them highly repeatable and allow for significant cost reductions without sacrificing quality. By basically by implementing these commercial production processes, we've shortened the build time for radios from several months down to a few weeks. And uh, this really allows us to be very competitive in meeting the Space Force's goals of both resilience and scalability in the supplier base. So delivering spacecraft radios that meet, you know, the, the demanding quality, you know, and standards uh, while maintaining uh, efficiency in production. At recent conference and events, what specific challenges or technical demands were most frequently raised by potential customers? Yeah, the, the, US, the U.S. Space Force's initiative to foster rapid growth and technology integration from tr non-traditional DOD suppliers and small businesses represents a transform transformative shift uh, by accelerating the technology insertion timeline from the traditional 10 to 15 years down to two years, they're creating new opportunities for agile companies. We've seen challenges with overclassification of requirements, uh, prime contractors flowing down legacy space requirements, uh, which you know does not align really with the better is the enemy of good enough for rapid timelines. Yeah, I have seen a lot of uh, screening being streamlined so you can get lower cost and faster time to market. So uh, how has Vulcan Wireless seen customer demand shift towards more standardized SDR solutions? And what trends do you foresee in customer needs for high throughput and secure TTNC solutions? Yeah, so the shift right now is towards disaggregated satellites and the expansion of proliferated LEO constellations and that they've created unprecedented demand for uh, both communications and for NSA protected communications uh, for those data links. The surge reflects the Department of Defense's push for interoperable DOD customer driven standards with a reduced tolerance for proprietary or non standard configurations. So, proprietary solutions have really become non negotiable um, as the preference for open standards. Uh, over stovepipe solution grows. Um, our approach addresses these evolving requirements by developing adaptable communication solutions with robust comsec and transec protections. As data, data rates and frequency bands advance towards higher frequencies, we are also enhancing our modems to support these increased demands. Uh, this commitment to high performance and modem capabilities is really what Vulcan is focusing on. And uh, we expect these you know, bandwidth to continue and the frequencies to go up. Uh, so throughput and resilience are just going to continue to grow as a function of time. So, uh, you know, that's, that's, we're really trying to mirror the market's growth here. Well, thanks, Kevin, for talking with me today about Vulcan Wireless and your SDR capabilities. I learned a lot, so I thank you for that. To our audience, you can find more videos at videos.microwavejournal.com. Thanks for watching.